Maya has some default hidden marking menus that may be relatively unknown to most Maya users and beginners. Some of these are actually extremely helpful and they're associated with the Q, W, E, and R keys on the keyboard. The Q key is the shortcut in Maya to select objects. The W key is used to translate objects. The E key is used to rotate objects and the R key is used to scale objects. So let's have a look at that. If I select this cushion over here and I hit the W key, it activates the translate tool, E activates the rotate, and R activates the scale tool. Now if I go ahead and deselect that or select it, really doesn't matter, I'll just deselect it for now, and I hold down the Q key and then use the marking menu button, well I'll just get the standard marking menu. But if I use the left mouse button instead of the right mouse button which is the default marking menu button, I'll open up a separate hidden uh, marking menu option here and it's based on the select tool because I'm holding down the Q key. So if you hold down the Q key, use the left mouse button, you open up this hidden marking menu and it allows you to adjust and quickly change some of the common parameters and options associated with the select tool. It's the equivalent of going here to the toolbox and double clicking on the select tool up here to open up its options over here on the right. As you can see we have some common selection options that allow us to change the selection style from marquee to drag. We can also choose camera based paint selection or camera based selection. We also have some soft selection parameters down here and reflection settings. Well instead of going all the way through this hassle of double clicking this button and making some changes here and then maybe closing that menu out, what I can do is simply hold down Q, hold down the left mouse button while I hold down the Q key and I can go ahead and quickly change some of these common select tool options. For example, I can switch from marquee to drag or from drag to marquee. I can go to my reflection options over here. I can go back and I can switch to lasso mode or paint select mode. I can activate camera based selection or I can clear the selection out. And I can do the same thing if I hold down the W key which is the translate tool and hold down the left mouse button I can open up the marking menu for the translate tool which again lets you change some different parameters. So you can adjust the uh, change the parameter for keeping the spacing of components. You can change the axis over here to normal or local mode or a custom axis. I can then go back and I can switch from object mode to world mode or vice versa. I can switch my selection mode. I can also change a few options down here and so on and so forth. If I hold down the E key which is the rotate tool and then open up that left mouse button mark a marking menu I can go ahead and change a few different things here I can activate discrete rotate so that I can snap at certain angles so for example if I want to rotate something snap it every 5 or 10 or 15 degrees or whatever I want I can do that I can switch from local to world mode and vice versa and so on and so forth and last but not least if I hold down the R key which is the rotate tool and then open up that marking menu I can switch some options here associated with the rotate tool Instead of having to come to the toolbox and opening up the options for the rotate tool, changing my options, then hiding that menu back out and continuing to work, I can simply use these quick marking menus here to make some changes to my different uh, selection as well as my manipulation tools and just continue working here uh, without too much interruption. So it's a quick and easy way of working here with Maya and some of the most commonly used tools.